Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Get excited, get in girls. We are going to the salon. I got a last minute appointment with Crystal. My girl has been booked and busy, but she said she got a last minute cancellation. So I'm heading to the salon today. We are doing just some regular color maintenance. Also, my hair has been on the struggle bus a little bit. Ever since taking out those braids, actually, my hair is just, the ends are extra straggly. I've like looked in depth at my ends and I've seen like split ends and stuff. So of course, we're also due for a trim. So I'm excited to kind of re -judge refresh this hair i mean this morning i got up early because yesterday i actually did a hairstyle and then she texted me after was like hey we might be able to do something tomorrow and i was like grab my hair because usually when you go for a curly cut you got to go with your curls like out and pop in so i literally had to wake up this morning and just do like i did a co-wash and then i just slapped some mousse in there really quickly to kind of just refresh it and so this is where we're at my shape is also very interesting because i feel like these long layers have just grown so fast and it, it's giving a little bit of mushroom right now. A shape refresh is kind of what I'm going for today and then to fix up this color situation. So yeah, that's what we're getting done today. Um, I also just impulsively went and got my third hole re-pierced yesterday. So it is obviously sore and I need to make sure I let Crystal know of that because I don't want my hair to get tangled in it and yank it and ooh, we have arrived. My favorite place. I just love it here. It's so cute. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Did you see when I got those braids though? I don't know yes. if you saw. Yes. I, I think I'm officially done with the, the braids yes. stuff though because yeah. I'm just like it wasn't worth it to me. And I feel like when I took off my hair, it was just a little brittle. Yeah. And then it was like getting tangled trying to take it out. So honestly, if you see any missing chunks, yeah. it's probably because no, I, I may know. have cut my yeah, hair. I believe it. So I'm like, okay, not worth they it. They were so cute. They were cute, they I looked good, it. but it just wasn't worth it to I me. Know. I know. So if I'm gonna do something like that, I think maybe I would do it myself where I could control like how tight it would be. Yeah. Or, but even that, I'm just like, yeah. I'm just gonna rock these girls. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, you could also always, eventually, we, we should do look at the extensions. the extensions. We could totally do that. I'm down. My hair has been a little dry. Yeah. Also, she needs just like a little reshape, I guess. Cause these, Layers are looking a little heavy on the yeah. top. You're so still growing just overall. Yeah. What's important to me is health, and yeah. I feel like I noticed, like when I was looking closely at my hair, I noticed like the crazy split ends where it's like looks like a Christmas tree. Yeah. Um, so I was like, okay, we need to get like a good, good cut for the ends. And then and we haven't done that in a minute. No. So. so I need. I don't mind if if I have to lose just a little bit of length. Okay. Because I want to keep it healthy, and I want the ends to be nice and thick. Yeah. And like healthy and like heavy at the bottom. You know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of like stringy at the bottom. I'm just yeah. not about it. Do you want it to stay like as long as possible or are you? As long as possible. Okay. But health over everything yeah, yeah. right now. Okay. I think she just needs a little bit of a refresh. It's my apology to her for putting her through the, the braids. Yeah. Um. So whatever you think. We can do um, a mail bond treatment okay. too. Okay. That would want. be great. It would feel really good. Um, how's your scalp feeling? My scalp's okay. okay. Um, I've done a lot of treatments since I took out the braids. Yeah. So it's okay. I mean, yeah, color-wise, it's really up to you. Like, we could do... We wouldn't put, like, additional color on top of what we colored already, right? No. So, so we be... could do... I'm I was going to say, we could just do, like, a really good, like, a couple more intense detoxes, which okay. wouldn't, like hurt but mm -hmm. basically pull out any remaining color you might have in there like mm -hmm. you so brighten it up even more okay and so it'll lift yeah. out any color it's yeah. not going to actually like lighten or do anything mm -hmm. chemically okay but then we can kind of see where we're at after that okay and then tone that okay i mean i feel like that's a really good idea wow. okay because um, it's not a bad idea to just doing a detox anyways okay um but i feel like you probably have more dimension in there than we even realize okay i just like a mix of like some some natural dark yeah. but like some low lights and then highlights you know yeah. what i mean yeah that's all so if you don't want to do like chemical stuff i would yeah. say go that way 
Okay. We'll go route that route. We'll see where it lifts to and okay. we can look at the swatches. Sounds good to me. Oh, last thing. Yeah. I just, this is probably a little annoying, but I just got a piercing oh, yesterday. Yeah. So just an FYI. Just keep reminding me. Yeah. I always forget. And if the hair gets a little tangled, we'll just, I'll yes. have to like untangle it. Really. Yeah. Please remind me. Okay. I will. Do you think we should cut? I don't know what effect that would give though. Like cut like shorter layers, you think, on the top? Or? We definitely can. I let's do the other side First. and then I'll have you flip forward okay. and we'll do a little bit okay. and see if it's enough. Okay. Because I've definitely done a little bit more like rounding out on this cut than we've okay. been doing. Mm -hmm. Just to kind of help fill in some gaps. Yeah. yeah. I think it would be pretty. Okay. So that you don't get triangly really fast. Or like mushroomy. Yes. Yeah. Because that I think will happen faster with this cut. Yes. It's so cute. It's already sitting up more. Yeah. It looks so good. Cool. I am weak because not <laughs> not Crystal realizing that I did have chunks of hair missing from when I cut out my braid. I did actually cut my hair. I thought that I did, but I wasn't hundred percent sure. I definitely did cut my hair, but we just finished the cut and reshape and it's looking a lot better now. <laughs> Look, it's so good. The shape is everything. How we decided for color, we're not gonna add more color. I did wanna see how we could do like more dimension. Um, so what she said we're gonna do is just do like a huge detox and see where that can lift it to and then we'll tone it after to get it toned down to the right color and see where that lands us. is working yeah. look at all this so we're gonna do so is it just one toner That's yeah good. we'll just do one tone and then of course you have dimension so yeah. it'll pick up different shades of the gold but right so it won't all the highlights won't be the same color it'll be right. pick up different yeah. okay <laughs> That's what I want, yeah. yeah. A little dimension. I'm excited. I can do it too. Perfect. I'm gonna mix up. Okay. All right. Thank you. So I'm excited. <laughs> it's, we're going more caramel toned. I feel like last time we went a little bit more reddish brown, a little darker. And this is why I like doing stuff with crystal because every time we do the toner, you can switch it up a little bit without necessarily doing like a chemical change to your hair. So it's it's good. It's great. I'm excited. Good. How are you? Okay, sounds good. And you're Sarah and yes. Jacob? Yes. Jacob. Nice yeah. to meet you. I'm nice Alyssa. You. Yeah. <laughs> that is well, Randy so did good. the um, the peppermint scrub and it was Ooh. a little yeah. life changing. Yeah. <laughs> the peppermint scrub was so good. Yeah. So good. Y'all know I had I had some trouble with the chrome memory gel, but I think it was actually user error, so we'll see. Yeah. So I just put a little bit of volume, and then I go right over Okay. And then usually with the volume, I'll do like a coat over, yeah. and then I go in and do my Break it. Okay. Coming good. together? Yeah. I mean, juicy. Oh, yes. Yeah. You're almost dry. Okay, come on. I 
I'm so shook that this combo is doing this. This is crazy. I had no idea that. Do you have volume? I don't think so. The hold is insane. Do y'all see this? We're not 100% dry, so I'm just gonna air dry the rest of the way and then I will check in with y'all tomorrow. Predict your results, but it looks so good. All right, y'all. Day two, it is the next day. My hair is stiff. I don't, can you all hear this? I did not expect to get this level of hold from this product combo at all. I am shook. In case you guys missed it or didn't hear it in the video, InnerSense, I create volume. Crystal swears that it has way more hold than the I create hold gel, which is crazy. And it's a little confusing because of based off of the way they've named it. But this is the strongest hold I have ever felt in my hair before. So this was the combo of the Curl Memory Gel with some water and then some of the Eye Create Volume on top. I don't mind my hair drying with a white, uh, white cast, a hard cast, because I know that means my hair is gonna last me very, very long. And frizz wear, babe, frizz wear. I'm gonna take my Sacred Oil this really is one of my favorite hair oils at the moment. Smooth this in, cause this cast is like a serious, serious hard cast. Oh no. I have a broken nail and it's like ripping my hair out. Megan did such an amazing job styling my hair. That was my first time getting my hair styled by her and she was incredible. Honestly, the whole team. That's one of the things I love about uh, Salon Skanda. Crystal and her family have just really made it the salon where it's like not just, there's not just one curly hair stylist, like they teach everybody in there to do hair, to do all kinds of hair. And I just love that. So if you guys are looking to make an appointment, by the way, Randy was the one who gave me the best scalp scrub of my entire life. I think her name was Sarah. She also gave an amazing scalp scrub and I noticed she is very, 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 very light-handed. So she was super, super gentle in my hair. Um, Jacob, super sweet. Sarah and Jacob were the ones who applied my toner in together. And then Megan, like I said, styled my hair. Like it was just a true team effort. Crystal was the one who cut my hair, but honestly, they're all educated. I am literally, <laughs> ah, this hard cast is insane. Also, what do we think of the color? What do we think? We went a little bit different. From the first time around, we went more like honey-ish kind of vibes, more caramel, and I love it. It's just some really nice, natural, pretty looking dimension in my hair. I think at some point, I may wanna add more color, you know? But so far, right now, I'm loving it. I do, I would wait for sure before I do that again. I noticed that when Megan was doing my hair, she did like super small sections, and I think, that's what got us like this, these results, you know what I mean? It's just when you put the time and effort into styling your wash and go is when you are always going to get the very best results. Like I'm not gonna lie, I get, I get lazy, I do bigger sections so I can get my wash and go done quicker. Um, but this is just a reminder right here, like th this is what my hair is capable of. <laughs> Anyways, I am so freaking happy with my hair. It's so good, it's so good. I'm like looking in the mirror like, oh, I love it. I'm really excited for it to kind of expand obviously over the next couple of days. But I love her. As much as I love the braids that I got and as much as I actually really enjoyed my, mostly enjoyed my experience at the African braiding shop when I got them done, I just don't think my hair itself enjoyed that experience. I noticed they were very, very rough when they were kind of detangling and they were super tight when they were braiding. I did have, do have a little bit of breakage here. I don't know, it's gonna be hard to see in the camera. Like, can you see this? This is a hair that's just broken. So like right here, I have a little bit of breakage. It's nothing excessive. And with curly hair, obviously like, you can hide anything with curly hair. <laughs> curly hair is very, very forgiving. But yeah, it just made me feel like, I don't know if the braids were actually worth it for me. Like I wanted, especially for vacation, cause hear me out, this is what happened. I got these braids. I went on the cruise, 
they were hurting my scalp the entire time. My scalp was on fire, but they were beautiful. So I was like, let me just stick it out. It was a seven day cruise, but by day five, once we were finished with like all of our stops and excursions, like it was like the second to last day on the cruise. I was like, they gotta go. I'm taking these out now. I think I got enough cute pictures. It did the job for me, but I did have to spend like five hours on the cruise taking my braids out. And then when I took my braids out, oh, my hair was paced. I've never, I'd actually never seen my hair like this before. It was like a repelling product and it was knotted and matted and dry and tangled. And it just really needed what I got from the salon yesterday. That's kind of where I'm at right now. Health over everything. I just, oh, the hair is back and popping. She got everything that she needed. And this color, this color is just everything. All right, y'all, popping in with a really quick five month later update. I have literally not gone to another salon visit or anything, I haven't done anything extra with my hair since that salon visit. The salon visit that you guys just watched was back in May. So here we are, I'm filming this on October 1st today, and this is how my hair looks. First of all, growth update, because that's crazy. That's crazy. When I was editing that footage, I was like, oh my gosh, my hair looks so short. That's crazy. So this is five months of growth, but also like I wanted to show you guys kind of how my color has continued to lift a little bit. I feel like you can really see a lot more of like the dimension happening. Stopping everything excessive, the braids and everything has just been working wonders for my hair and my scalp. I plan to do another updated video where I give you guys more updates, not just on my hair journey, but also just in life in general. But for this video, I just really wanted to focus on this quick little five month hair update. I'm just so happy and honestly, maintaining color has actually been very, very easy. I feel like I've found the balance of how I can maintain like happy and healthy color in my hair. And if that means saying goodbye to braids for the time being, I'm absolutely happy to do that because I honestly prefer my curls out instead, especially with this extra length. It's just looking so good. So if you guys have any additional questions or if you want like a separate video specific to my hair growth strategy, let me know in the comments. Let me know your specific questions. And if you want a specific video, cause then I can just do one video specifically dedicated to that and I can answer all the questions that you guys have. Cause I'm, I'm honestly so proud of my hair and where it's at right now. So yeah guys, but that's it. That's basically how I've been maintaining my color. I plan to maybe see Crystal either one more time this year or early next year. It really is pretty low maintenance and I'm so happy about that. Hey guys, that's basically gonna be it for this video. Again, go ahead and leave any of your questions in the comments, we'll chat there. I will catch you guys right back here, same time, same place for my next video. Also really quickly, happy October, happy Libra season, happy birthday to the baddest of the baddest. I'm talking about my October Libras. It's our month, it's our season. I love y'all so much. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye.